Hello fellow nerds. In today's video, I'm going to talk about brick layers and specifically how you can get this feature right now and download it yourself. So first, I'm just going to really quickly show you what it looks like in the slicer and then I'm going to show you how to download it and then after that, I'll talk a little bit more about brick layers. Um, so right here, you can see this is how a benchy, this is a benchy, let me pull it all the way up. So there's a benchy and a cube. And right now you can see when the first layer, it prints the whole layer out and then you go up and it prints each layer individually. So let's turn on the stagger perimeters. And in there it says you have to have all of them a certain size because it's an experimental feature. That's fine. Now with the staggered layers, you see it only prints a portion of that. And then as you go up, it staggers them so I'm going to be testing this with some uh, Clear Pet G to see if this helps. Somebody mentioned that that might be a nice way to get it more clear. But if we look as it goes up layer by layer, it is stacking the layers. Let's see if we can get a better view. So there we go. You can see it goes boom, 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 boom. Very cool. Okay, so how can you get this? This is actually a fork of Orca Slicer. So I will leave this link down below and it's also linked in the new CNC Kitchen video about these bricked layers. Um, it is this link right here. You're gonna wanna go to GitHub Soft Fever Orca Slicer and follow this link. And just really quickly before you download this, I just want to preface this by saying, like, this is a forked feature. You download it at your own risk. Um, so far, I haven't noticed any difficulties with it, but that's just a small disclaimer. You know, obviously, I'm not recommending you do this, but if you want to do it, that's your decision. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to this, this link, and it'll say brick layer staggered perimeter implementation 8181. And when you click on the link, you'll probably be here in this conversations tab. And to be able to download it, you need to click over to the checks tab. And then you're also gonna wanna make sure you're signed in. So you won't be able to view this, the whole thing unless you're signed in. So you're gonna wanna click to sign in you're gonna to wanna to click on this artifacts. And then if you have the Windows operating system, um, you can go down and choose this Orca Slicer Windows. And this is the version I uh, downloaded and it will walk you through an installation procedure and you will have this forked off Orca. So, Yes, I'm hoping that helps. I've seen a lot of people asking about it and not knowing how to get there. This is how you get there. Download it. It's going to ask you if you want to get rid of your old version. Probably say yes. And you will be able to go into Orca and you'll see this new experimental feature right here. And just to talk a little bit more about this, this really exciting feature, it does, it does seem like it might be really helpful in what I'm trying to accomplish by printing the clear pet G um, and making sure there's not any air gaps in there. The only issue I'm having is, um, I believe it's only for walls. So one of the things with why the, uh, why the clear pet G looks good is because it's the infill that is going in the same direction. So I'm going to try to combat this by making lots and lots of wall loops. And I'm going to see if that is something that can um, help accomplish this goal of getting really clear pet G. I'm not sure how it's going to work, but I'm going to try that tomorrow. I will put up a video of the attempt. I also attempted today. I did like a long, long print of a backpack holder and it came out really, really nice. I'm gonna try spraying it with a little acrylic, but I'm still on this journey of finding perfectly clear prints. Um, I've even ordered some PVB, some resin. Um, I'm going all in on this. I really want to get it as good as I can. 
And anyways, if this video helped, if you're interested in this topic, other 3D printing stuff, tech news, consider giving me a subscribe. And if this helped you, also consider a like. Um, I do have a Discord that I will also link below. We talk about 3D printing a lot and upcoming once I once I make all the money from getting monetized lately, um, I am planning on doing some contests and you know getting some of that money back to the audience. Hopefully having some additional prizes in the future as well. And I will have more tutorials coming up. So anyways, thanks for listening to my spiel. Um, and I will keep you updated on how where this wall feature goes. And thank you for watching Rando Tech Nerd YouTube channel. I will see you nerds on the other side. Bye.